Uh, today we have Tamara Nilsson with us, and um, I'm excited about this, so let's go ahead and get started. Tamara, how are you? I'm doing great. Tamara, tell us just a little bit of, about you. Look, the uh, listeners will be very interested in that. Tell us a little bit about you. In the broad brush stroke of, of things, I'd, I'd call myself a purveyor of positivity and a pro at transforming adversity into abundance. I promote overall well-being uh, with anyone that I come in contact with. And I don't really uh, draw a line between my personal life and my professional life. It's all the same to me. I want you to know that, that Tamara's not just, you know, this is not just something that she read in the book and, and that kind of thing. That she has actually dealt with, uh, you know, tragedy and adversity in her life. Oh, absolutely. Uh, first time I almost died, I was 20 years old. Uh, mm and I was literally dying. Uh, so I kind of came out of that. I was disabled in my early 30s. So things like that, you know, some over, overcome lupus and hepatitis and a rare heart condition and quite a few other health challenges. And, you know, a lot of people uh, have asked me when I, you know, when they see me in a, a, a particular situation, people kept saying, don't you ask why me? And I, I was always shaking my head every time they asked me that question. I, I thought, no, I always thought, what's the value in this? Mm. I never stopped to ask, why me? You know, why not me? This is a bonus. I look at it yeah. as an opportunity. And, and, you know, what's the lesson and what can I learn from this? And, you know, what can I share with others? What would you tell someone that's just got diagnosed with, with cancer or... Uh, you know, they found that their spouse was having an affair on them and wants to leave them, or a loved one died, any kind of tragedy, what, what would you tell somebody? To view it as an opportunity. In every event, exchange, challenge, and victory lies a lesson and a gift, so long as we have the courage to see and accept that which is before us. And you can make a trauma far worse just by the choices you make. You know, I know the first time I was dying, I didn't, I wasn't afraid. I said, okay, well, gee, I, I want to stay and do everything I possibly can. And I, I looked at it as an opportunity, as a gift. And that's what I do now um, in terms of my my professional life. I'm a, I'm a wellness consultant, so anything that helps promote well-being. I help people one-on-one create a positive experience 